Where can I turn for peace? Where is my solace? When other sources cease to make me My name is Aitana. I'm originally from Le'i, Hawaii, but grew up here with my family in good old Woods Cross, Utah. So 2020, it's been such a crazy year with all that's been going on in the world. And I've come to realize that it's been quite difficult for me to feel peace, especially when I think about my future and what it's gonna look like with this whole new normal. I just recently graduated from college at BYU, and I would say before everything happened, I had a pretty good idea of what I was gonna do after graduation. But unfortunately, a lot of those plans fell through, and after graduation, I ended up moving back home where I could revise my whole plan. And at first, it was, it was super stressful, and a bit discouraging because I was so set with my plans, but it's also been such a blessing to me because it's given me the opportunity to really strengthen my relationship with my family. Most importantly, I love the times when we come together at night and we all circle around in the living room just having family discussions. I love when we have family scripture study and family prayer. And I've noticed that we've really been able to strengthen each other spiritually through this time. And I think it's during these moments where I really feel peace. My name is Mike. I'm here in Elk Grove, California. As an elementary school teacher, my life certainly has changed over the last few months. Days are long, very chaotic. After long, crazy days like that, I like to go into my backyard and spend time in my garden, my vegetable garden, picking vegetables, making sure everything's alive. I'll go to my front yard where my flowers are, but that's what I do when I try to find peace, especially after a long day. Spend some quiet time checking out my plants. Hi, I'm Tsugumi. I'm here in Kanagawa, Japan. It's been hard to adjust to a normal life and facing this difficult situation of COVID-19. As you can imagine, it's pretty hard to find peace in my life. However, I have more time with my family than I was able to realize again that family brings peace. Hey, this is Jason Deere in Nashville, Tennessee on Music Row. This is where I live and where I work, and this is my office, and this is where I spend a lot of time trying my very best to make music that matters. And this year, let me tell you a couple of things that have got me a little crazy. One of them is not being able to perform. I love to testify, love to do it with my NTB brothers. And it's just a bummer to not be able to look in people's faces and to sing along with them and, and yeehaw. But let me tell you one thing that's driving me nuts right now. Since everything's been shut down, this awesome old house on Music Row that I work in, everything is torn to pieces. They got the ceilings out, they got sheetrock everywhere, they've redone everything, and this chaos has got me crazy! But let me tell you where I find peace. See that dog right there? That's Maya. That's my girl. Every single morning, no matter what, rain, snow, we go on a walk, on a run, on a hike, and we experience whatever there is out there. And we find peace, we find companionship, and we get to observe the beautiful things that are around us in Tennessee. I'm Safa, and I'm from the western suburbs of Sydney, Australia. It's been really hard to find peace because of the difficulty trying to find a work and life balance. I'm grateful that I have a job and that I've been able to stay employed, but it doesn't come without its difficulties. When I need more peace in my life, I exercise. I know it doesn't look like I do, but I do. And the reason I exercise, when you're exercising, you can only focus on one thing at a time. It will help me prioritize what's important and what's not. And so exercising helps me find peace. It helps me bring order 
to a somewhat chaotic life. My name is Lupe Diaz and I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I am what many would call a germaphobe. I'm also an essential worker. This was a hard time for me. This is still a hard time for me. But I know that I can find my peace when I am able to cook for others, when I am able to use my talents in the kitchen to help those that are in need during this time. And it helps me feel the love of the Lord, the love that he has for me and all of his children during this time. Hi, my name is Austin. I'm in Draper, Utah. And one of the things that disrupts my peace is being a new paraplegic and having my focus leave what it needs to be because of all the stuff that I have to go through. There's a lot of new skills that I have to learn that can be very frustrating to learn. Things like sitting up, rolling over, and even just moving from one seat to another seat. It gets very frustrating and I tend to get down on myself because I have to do it over and over just to succeed once. And these are things that I have to do on a daily basis. I feel peace when I go on walks with my wife because it lets me be out in nature and just forget about some of the things that are going on. And I also feel peace when I'm studying the general conference talks and studying the scriptures because it helps me refocus my life and turn my thoughts towards God and towards Christ and His atonement. And that gives me strength and, and helps me feel peace as I struggle through the different trials that I have. Hi, my name is Solange Chali and I'm from Sydney, Australia. During this pandemic, it's been really hard because I have four young children. It was hard because they had so much energy and nowhere to burn it off. We couldn't go to the park. They weren't at school. They weren't doing sport or anything like that. When I needed more peace in my life, I had two friends that were my neighbors that I would reach out to. And as one of the rules, we were allowed to go for walks as exercise. We would go in pairs around the neighborhood and there's a bit of a scenic route that we used to take and it really cleared my head um, and was good for both of us because I knew that they were going through the exact same thing as me. It was really, really therapeutic and gave me a lot of peace. Hi, I'm Callie Reed. I am in Morgan, Utah, and I am the mother to six beautiful children. This summer, I have been stressed out trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do with them for school. I have no idea what the best choice is. Everyone has a different opinion, and it doesn't seem to matter where I look. There is no clear cut, this is the best answer for everyone. But what I found is really helpful when I'm looking for peace is if I will make the conscious choice to connect intentionally with God, which for me oftentimes means not clicking on my social media apps and instead clicking on my LDS tools app and reading my scriptures or listening to a conference talk and, and listening to that stuff, kind of surrounding myself with the spirit, because what I found is that when I am intentional with reconnecting with God, he is able to give me perspective and perspective brings peace. I'm Robert and I'm here in Vero Beach, Florida, USA. It's been difficult and hard to find peace during these times. The pandemic has made business to have to close the doors. I'm a software developer and had a business-to-business -business support company that now is closed. There is a lot of anxiety about what we are going to do and what we'll do next. As a head of a family, I have to provide comfort and security in these difficult times. And having closed my office and storing my equipment and servers in my garage don't help. But I know that I can find peace when I go for a hike. I have the privilege of living in one of the most beautiful places in the planet where I can find myself surrounded by the splendor of the creation as if you could see the hand that made it all. And that, at that time, at that moment, is when all comes together and I realize that as all, this will pass. Well, when my aching grows, well, when I lay
come 